everyone, this is Tom the Collector here with another action figure review. And here at the uh, Spider-Man Retro Marvel Legends uh, Mysterio here. And it's just a repaint of the Mysterio that we got for the Lizard uh, Build-A-Figure. Build and I got this from um, GameStop. I wasn't sure if they were actually going to have him at, have this guy at GameStop. And I went over there during my birthday and found it there. Um, and you guys could probably tell by this the price tag there but uh let's go over to packaging here so first you got that spider-man uh 90s show logo there with spider-man there and you get that old marvel comics logo there with the webs in the background and then you get this billboard with mysterio with all the smoke behind them so that's cool marvel's mysterio and you got mysterio right here uh, not much done on top, not much on the I mean, bottom, and not much on the top here. Um, but here's the back. So you get that same Spider-Man logo right there with the Marvel logo there. And then same billboard picture of Mysterio here. Marvel's Mysterio. And if you guys want to pause and read this, you can. And then here's all the figures in the wave, which we've seen before. And we get Spider-Man, Peter Parker, uh, Green Goblin, Gwen Stacy, Daredevil, and uh, Electro. Nothing else on the sides here. So besides that, let's crack them open. And here's Mysterio out of the packaging here. And I will say, I think this one I like a lot more than the one that we've gotten before. I have it with me. Uh, so we'll do a comparison after we're done going over the figure. So first let's go over his our, uh, accessories here. So he has these like a little smoke here with this. If, nope, never mind. There's, oh yeah, there is like a little tentacle right here. Uh, nice translucent. Um, turquoise green blue here i like this color that they used a lot though i like it a lot so yeah there's that one same deal on this one they're different so i like it a lot i think this one yeah this one's for his left leg and this one's for his right but the way you're looking at it right now your right his left leg whatever um but yeah we get those that's all we got for accessories so here's mysterio mysterio here right here so I think on the last one here, this one's this one's completely colored in the inside. You can kind of see a little bit of the transparent, uh, translucent head there. I like that head sculpt though. I think we've seen it before, but I don't know which one, uh, what character this one is. But yeah, this uh, the inside of it is completely painted white, so you barely tell that there's a head in there. And yeah, you just pour it back in. It's kind of hard to do that. The uh, other one has the like squid. It's like a skull with the uh, squids coming out of the eyes and stuff like that. That's why it's easier to keep it in. So you might be able to do head swaps with it. So that's pretty cool. I like the color that they used for the cape. You get a little bit of white scratches there. Eh, it's not gonna bother me a whole bunch, but yeah, you get. I got a little bit of white scuffing there. But yeah, I like the red that they used for this. It's like maroon. I like the texture in the inside here. That's really cool. You guys can see it, I'm pretty sure. I can see it through the camera. Uh, so yeah, it's just, it, it's the same sculpt from the other one. So you get the like square pattern throughout the pit figure sculpted in. You get the gauntlets here. Um, they're gold instead of uh, green, that light green. And for the body, you get some of that darker green wash over it. I don't think the other one had like the wash over it to get it more texture so yeah and the gauntlets and gloves are just repainted gold instead of the like green like i've said same deal with the boots so that's really cool but i like this one a lot more i just, i feel like it's i feel like i like this one mainly because it's more accurate and i just like the colors a lot more too i think but besides that let's go over the articulation so this does not include the articulation i guess so we'll take that off but when you take that off, his head can hinge down that far. Look up that far, that's really far. You can look left and right. You get some head pivoting there, so that's cool. His shoulders can move out a little past 90 degrees. You can do 360 rotation around the shoulder. You got bicep swivel here. You got double jointed elbows. His wrists can hinge down that far. Uh, come on, up that far. And then 360 rotation around there. Um, he has an ab crunch, so he could go forward that far. 
backwards that far. He has a waist swivel, to, so 360 rotation around there. His legs can kick out pretty far. Forward, really far. Backwards, a little bit. Uh, he does have a thigh cut here. He has double jointed knees, so that's really good. You got a boot cut here. You got his ankles can hinge down that far, up that far, and nice ankle pivot. And here's the retro Mysterio next to the lizard build up here one. And yes, the, the green pieces, I think, yeah, they're the same exact sculpt, but they're just different green. So this one's like turquoise and this one's a little bit of lighter green. And yeah, the gloves have a little bit of wash in the inside there and they're light green. Um, and this, the body here doesn't have any wash at all. So yeah, and then yeah, the globe, the fishbowl for him is just a little tinted white. So you get to kind of see the head in there. And if you pop it out, yeah, you get that little skull with there. And you, if you want to, you could probably switch heads if you want. So that would be, and if you do that, I think it would look pretty interesting with this one, especially since it's clear. And the cape is purple too. Almost one more thing I forgot. So the eyes on that one are painted gold. That's one little detail that I forgot actually. I just saw that when I saw those, I was like, oh wait, I forgot something. But yeah, you get that gold there. Um, and yeah, I prefer this one more. And that one, one more cool thing about them is that if you, I heard something about like, there's a variant of this one where I think the skull was turquoise, like that color um, that they switched out for. Um, so you could do, have one of them make an illusion or something like that. So that would be pretty cool. Um, but yeah. Um, but I like the figure a lot. He looks really cool. I like him a lot. I do prefer this one over the one that I just had up here. Um, and yeah, I think he's a really cool figure. Uh, the only problem that I guess I have with him is those little scuffs there and, the. Uh, the cape kind of falls off just a little too easy for me. So if you want to just swap heads so that way it stays secure, I guess, whichever one you prefer. Um, but I prefer this one, but I'm not, I'm not sure if I'll swap heads with it. Um, but besides that, that's all I've got.